Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima Underworld 2, The Labyrinth of Worlds. And when last we left off, Shana the Druid had just awoken once more in Castle Britannia, with the fact that we are all encased in a massive dome of black rock and we can't escape. I have pen and paper at the ready, and a complete spell list. Because, after all, Shana's done this sort of thing before, and so she knows pretty much nearly all of the spells that we could encounter in the game. What's more, the rune system of spellcasting returns as opposed to the reagent one, and the controls compared to the first game are pretty much identical. You can use the mouse or the direction um, keys to uh, move. I think it's actually, uh, well, W moves forward. I don't remember what makes you move backwards. But uh, you can use the keyboard to move as well. There is also an attack button, a open button, a get button, a talk button, a look button, and the menu. Compared to the uh, first game, due to our slightly different stats, we have uh, the same vitality, but two less starting mana. But we do have slightly more decks. And you'll note, as well as many of the improvements made to the uh, HUD here, if we click this, it doesn't spin round, it just moves to the side and then back. We have one skill point spare. We're not going to spend that just yet. And unlike in the first game, Ultima Underworld 1, where we were thrown into a basically 8 or 9 level dungeon, here we're in a place with friends. So we have inventory items that we can pick up pretty much immediately. A serviceable leather vest and leather boots, which we shall grab and equip. We have a lot of carry capacity. That's going to be useful. We also have uh, this sack here, which has a badly worn dagger if memory serves. Yep, it's better than no item. And also a map. Right away, they give us the map. And a ragged scroll. I do remember that being ragged as opposed to any other one. Let's look at it. Avatar, please come to the throne room as soon as possible. Lord British shall be holding a meeting to discuss our options in this sudden crisis. Miranda. Not sure if I remember her, she might be from Ultima 7. Also, you may notice, here is a very pixelated picture that is actually one of the uh, box covers for one of the very early Ultima games. There are still a few more things that we can grab. We can grab uh, this food here, which is actually quite important, because right now we have no way to actually get more food. So let's just grab this day-old pastry, and I imagine this is day-old meat. Yep. We'll be grabbing that, and we'll be grabbing this water. Water is always useful. Now you may notice here, there is what looks like a secret door. There is indeed a secret door here. There is a secret door no matter who you are, but what is in here all depends on what kind of um, profession you are. There are actually, I think, a few secret doors, but uh, there is a, let's look at the map. The map here is actually all laid out for you, because this is basically Castle Britannia, and we have been here before, many times. So, let us see what is in here. Now, because we are a druid, there's a number of items that are useful. Here is a box, and in this box is a sling with nine um, sling bullets. Not useful. However, this rune bag, now that, that right there is a very useful thing indeed. So we shall be taking that. Are there any runes in the rune bag? The answer is no. But there are runes right here. We have a Jux stone, a Bet stone, an In stone, a Sanct stone, a Mani stone, and an Ort stone. We ought to pick all these up. <laughs> uh, note they're also um, brown as opposed to gray which is a uh, minor alteration. Now, what spells will we be able to cast with all of these stones? If memory serves, not many. I don't actually think they've given us a lot of stuff. There's also a flute. I don't remember if the flute has any particular purpose, but uh, the backpack will certainly be helpful. What is in the backpack? Ah, better stuff. A serviceable dagger. We shall most certainly swap these out. We also have a bedroll, three loaves of bread, two bottles of water, three torches, and a bed... 
and a lockpick, actually. I think I might have already said about the uh, bedroll. But uh, there we go. We have a lot of stuff already, which is all very useful. We're going to be getting even more stuff by the time we've finished exploring uh, Castle Britannia. For after all, pretty much we can use a lot of the resources here. Also, it's all illuminated, so I don't need to actually use any form of uh, torches or anything else. Here is a... Uh, ah, it's not illuminated in here though, is it? Nope, you'll see the uh, light dramatically shifted there. We are actually currently in a back area, because this uh, place has a lot of, um... Hello. You are an upset giant tan rat. Yes, not all um, enemies, just like in the first game, are inherently hostile. So we're just going to have to be very careful. But yes, um, Castle Britannia has a lot of secret tunnels. This is one of those tunnels. Also, there is a secret door here. And it leads into a very dark room indeed. Very dark. In fact, we're going to explore everywhere else first before we uh, do that. As a minor point, do we actually have the runes to cast a light spell? The answer to that is no. Not yet. But we will probably very soon. So let's do some exploring. Also, nice carpet. I like the carpet there. Let's go and see who we can talk to. We could go talk to uh, Lord British, that seems like a good idea. But YOLO is just over to the left. Also, there's another highly pixelated picture of one of the uh, box arts of the previous games. Where is YOLO? He is currently not in here. Is this his crossbow? Yes, we do not want to take anything that says belonging to a human. However, we can take this box. It only has crossbow bolts in it. We don't want crossbow bolts, but... We can take the, um, the box. The bo- Ooh. I don't know where that went, but I think I might have destroyed those crossbow bolts. I'm off to a good start, aren't I? I'm off to a brilliant start. Let's have a look at the map. We want to go... I do believe we want to go east. This is east. Let's go talk to Lord British, shall we? He's in the throne room. Like pretty much everyone is in the throne room right now. Hello! It is Lord British! Greetings, Avatar. Shall we begin this meeting? By all means, my lord. The uh, dialogue in this game is done through various choices. There is also trading, as you can see by the six um, slots next to each character. I need not tell you, citizens of Britannia, that we are near our darkest hour. The gem that surrounds our castle is made of black rock, a substance impervious to all physical force, which stifles magical workings within its boundaries. The Guardian has this day struck Britannia a fearsome blow, and we may be sure that he will not rest idle. Doubtless, even now he is preparing an assault on the entire nation of Britannia. Yes, it's kind of a grim situation we're just thrown into right away. And then Miranda speaks. Lord British, cannot Lord Draxinu... Um... Draxinusum? Yeah, I think I said. Cannot Lord Draxinusum of the Gargoyles rally our people against the invader? Possibly. He is the leader of the Gargoyles, after all. He will do what he can, certainly, but I know not whether the humans of Britannia shall follow a Gargoyle leader. The events of Ultima 6 kind of threw a bit of a dampener on the uh, Gargoyle-human relations, but they have been on the men since then. Patterson arrives in a hurry, gasping for breath. It is the Mayor of Britannia, everyone! You remember him? Well, what can we do, then? Somehow, we must find a way to breach the gem. Now to work! Servants, take an inventory of the castle storerooms. Nistel, Nelson, we shall have need of thy far-famed scholarly powers. You must determine how the jewel was created, and how it may be destroyed. You others, warriors, and especially you, Avatar, eight times our saviour, you must search the castle, above and below, for some means of escape. That there implies that, uh, indeed, Ultima Underworld is part of this um, game's canon. Miranda, I place thee in charge of the escape effort. Thou should use the Great Hall as thy headquarters. Avatar, be sure to re 
Be sure to report to her all that thou dost learn in thy search, and heed her advice in all things. Also, that is a bit of an odd piece of dialogue. It should be be sure to report rather than be sure and report. It's like, all the Britannia, he breaks off, sensing an otherworldly intruder. Yes, British, hasten to thy vain struggle, but know this. All who choose to serve me shall be spared. All others shall rot within these walls. Well, that's ominous. Well, here we are. You may notice various people that we recognize. There's a friendly guard. There's YOLO. Doesn't look anything like YOLO, but we shall say hello to YOLO anyway. Greetings, my former companion. How are you today? You look more like YOLO now. I am glad to see my old companion again, now that we are in this fix. What of thy years since we smashed the Black Gate? Twas most relaxing, Shana. I spent much of my time at YOLO South. Business is booming. If I did not miss Gweno so much, it would have been most enjoyable. Hast thou any news of Gweno? None at all, I'm afraid since she left on her voyage of exploration. Why did she not ask me to go along? Tis most disheartening. Now, is there aught else thou wouldst speak to me about? Yes, my friend. Of course. What hast thou in mind? Eh, what news, Yolo? There is little to say, my friend. Tis a fine mess we are in this time, is it not? <laughs> Doubtless we shall, put we shall pull through, friend. When have we failed before? Tis true, my friend. We may be thankful for this prison, inasmuch as we are safe on the inside, while the rest are trapped outside with Chuckles the Jester. But really, Avatar, the situation is darker than most here suspect. What meanest thou? Dupree and I took a look down in the sewers when the gem first came up. Tis crawling with monstrous vermin. The sewers were never safe, but now they are horrific. I believe he has a key, which shouldst thou take uh, care to take a look for thyself. Now, is there aught else thou would speak to me about? YOLO can train you, I think, in archery in general, but we do not want YOLO to train us in that, so uh, we shall uh, depart for now. But we have been given information about the fact that the sewers are teeming with vermin. Because, of course, there cannot be a role-playing game without a sewer level. And the sewer level in this game is effectively right at the start. Nay, goodbye for now. We could talk to uh, Lord British again. I mean, it's probably worth talking to him. He is over there. Also, you'll notice that there are a lot more um, custom uh, actual models for characters than there were before. Which is quite good. Ultima Ronda World 1 did not have a large selection of them. Let's talk to Lord British. Greetings, Avatar. In this dark time, tis good to see an old companion I can trust. Tell me, then, what hath occupied thine attention lately? Well, Avatar, I am sorry now I did invite thee to this doomed affair. The Guardian's threats are indeed dire. I would not have my friends face danger alone. <laughs> Thou art right. I was a fool to think I could keep thee out of danger, for thou art e'er plunging thyself into the thick of it. Listen, thou should speak with Dupre. I believe it's Dupre or Dupree. I'm going to call him Du. I think it's Dupre, actually. He mentioned he has something which might relate to our current plight. Now, if there is nothing more, Shana, I must go now. Wait, Lord British. There is more we must speak of. What wouldst thou like to talk about, then? Tell me of the reconstruction, my lord. It has indeed been a hard year for us, Avatar. As thou didst travel the land, doubtless thou didst bear witness to the Guardian's subtle devastation of our land. It will be a few more years yet before Britannia is once again a land fit for heroes to walk. Ah, I see that, um, actually it's uh, not such a, um, a direct attack, so much as to say that it is a um, subtle attack. It was sort of hinted about the fact that there was this year of rebuilding, but in truth, it's not such a direct assault as it was a subtle assault, as pretty much is hinted in um, 
well, blatantly actually, in Ultima 7. That uh, things are happening all around as opposed to directly. If there is nothing more, sh ah, it's like, if there is nothing more, Shana, I must go now. Wait, Lord British, there is more we must speak of, of course. We do not have need of his healing powers, actually, so we shall leave. We should keep exploring. Is Shamano here? Is Shamano not here? If Shamano is not here, you've got to wonder where Shamano actually is. But there are a few more places we can uh, yet explore. Fortunately, all of the uh, various uh, plants and stuff that are nearby will be uh, pretty much alright. There's nothing particular here we need to look for, but we do need to go and find... Um... Here we go. I believe this is the room for Dupre. Is he in here? Yes, he is. He also has a lot of ale, which is uh, pretty characterful for him. Also, there are these various things that are not ours. We cannot take them. Here is Dupre. Let us say hello. Do not tell the others, Shana, but I have made a horrible discovery. What is it? Yolo and I walked down into the sewers, and a bit below, a plague of monsters has erupted. I do not know where they are coming from, but the matter bears investigation. I shall look into it at once. Thou art a brave woman, Shana. I admire thee, though I do not envy thy responsibilities here. Take thou then this key to the sewers. I shall descend at once. And by descend at once, I mean I shall actually not descend at once and talk to you again. Yes, my friend? What hast thou been doing since we trounced the Guardian a year ago? After we thwarted the Guardian last time, I resumed my survey of Britannia's taverns. I was at the friendly knave in Moonglow, trying out a new ale that they have, but I received the invitation to Lord British's festival. Of course I sailed for the castle at once. My survey is hard work, and I thought this would be a fine vacation. Shana, the Guardian shall owe me for every hour of revelry I am missing. What else shall we speak of? Uh, there is one more thing. Actually, there is not one more thing. I think uh, to pray can actually um, improve your fighting abilities with the skill points, but uh, we're not going to have any of that happen. Now, I do believe we want to talk to not Nelson, but um, we do want to talk to... Uh, we could talk to Nelson, actually. Nelson and Nistel both need uh, talking to. Also, there we go. Just got around that corner. We've seen that picture before. And that one is from Ultima 6. Now, which one of these is... This, I believe, is Nelson's room. Let's open this. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Is there anything in here I can take? There's a candle. There's not much else. Tis good to see thee here, Avatar. What is it, Nelson? We are in quite a fix, aren't we? But then, I suppose, that is a speciality of thine. One never gets used to such things, Nelson. Well, I have been thinking. All of the Guardian's Blackrock structures have had smaller copies of themselves inside. It would be worthwhile searching for something similar within the castle. That's pretty true, actually. But where would we f where would such a thing be? Tis hard to say. It may have been hidden, or it may contain its own defenses, in some interior space. Tis probably not in the castle proper, though, but rather nearer the base of the sphere, in the sewers. Will that be all, Shana? Nay, there is more I must discuss with thee. There are more plot points that we must talk of. Of course. What hast thou in mind? What hast thou been doing since I saw thee in Moonglow? I have remained in that fair city as head of the Lycaeum. My studies here have kept me well occupied and quite content. I heard that your friend Dupre had visited the city recently, but he preferred to frequent the friendly knave and did not visit me in the Lycaeum. Will that be all, Shana? I believe he can teach us about various magical things, but right now we have no such need for that. So, um, yes, I shall speak with thee again later. And for now, our explorations have basically proved that we are in some serious, serious bother. Everyone has pretty much confirmed that we are stuck here, and that um, there's no way out that we can see, although uh, Nelson has provided an interesting clue in the fact that we could potentially try and find the smaller copy 
of the Black Rock Sphere somewhere in the sewers. Now, the sewers, as uh, Yolo and Dupre have said, are very dangerous and effectively serve as the first true combat area of the game. But we have not yet got to that point. We still have more of Castle Britannia yet to explore. The Great Hall, we also need to go into these various rooms and talk to uh, Nelson here, and uh, Nistel. Actually, when I was saying Nelson there, I was looking at Nistel. I have no idea why. So, when we come back, folks, we'll continue exploring Castle Britannia, and from there, we shall move on into the sewers. Because if there's one place we definitely want to go, it's the sewers. It's actually not a place we want to go, but we don't really have much of an option. So, I'll catch you then, folks, and I'll see you next time. Later.